Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play Wild Arms 2. I think we're heading inside the Crimson Castle. Okay, and uh, you want to head on in here because there is an optional character that you can get. And this optional character is very important as far as getting everything that the game has to offer, including optional bonus bosses and uh, things like that. So that's pretty cool. Jump on down here, grab a war res respite. Every single treasure in here is a war respite. Let's use Puka, grab another war respite, and uh, let's get on down out of here. And then what I want to do is go around um, this way yet again. Yeah, we're going to be doing this. Um, actually, that's the only time we're going to be doing that, now that I really think about it. Whoa! Yeah, let's uh, not fight anything quite yet. Okay, so let's see. I want to move on through here. And uh, we have some treasures down there that we can jump down to get to, but I don't want to do that right now. I do want to go over here, and in this corner we get, uh, hey, more war respites. Okay. Um, what about this one? A war respite? Seriously? And these books over here, there are nine books in here, but they're all undecipherable right now, at least. So we have some treasures down there, but again, I don't want to go there quite yet. What I want to do is head down here into this room just to show something. Again, some library books, but if you look at the wall right here, see that little electricity symbol right there? Remember that for later, viewers, because we will be coming back here probably at the end of this episode, if not at the beginning of the next episode. We'll just see how long this all takes, but hopefully it shouldn't take too long. Now I want to jump on down with another war rep. This better not be a freaking damn you game! Ugh! Yeah, every single treasure is a war respite. That's just lovely. Oh, that's fine. Uh, basically, what those things do, if I didn't say so earlier, is they cure status ailments. So that could come in pretty damn handy. I don't know why I'm canceling encounters if I really need to be um, actually, you know, encountering these encounters. But yeah, it's fine. Okay, so now I want to go up these stairs and head over here. I believe I'm going the right way. I should just double check. Oh, or I can get to encounter. That works too. Why not? Whoa, we have two vermilions. Oh no! Let's see what these guys are weak against. They are weak to water. Uh, let's see. Do I have a water spell? Where is it? Water gun. Yeah, there we go. Go ahead and use that. Uh, these guys can also paralyze you too. So. Be on the lookout for them. They have 1,200 HP, so they're nothing that you can't handle with just regular physical attacks. Please don't paralyze Tim. Damn you, game! Yeah, this game has it out for me. Ugh. And I really wanted Tim to get the kill because he still has to work on that death rune and everything, but it's not that big of a deal. Whatever, we killed them all the same. I'm gonna heal up Tim off camera as far as the paralyze is concerned, though. Oh, don't want to use the Puka. Um, oh, it actually healed after battle. Huh, who knew? Okay, well, let's go on through here. And uh, just keep on going. This place can be pretty mazy if you don't know what you're doing or where you're going, so keep that in mind. Hopefully, I'll get through it without too much trouble. Whoa! We have the Body Snatchers and the Red Barneys. Okay, let's just attack, attack, and let's see, what do we got going on here with... Do they have any weaknesses? Well, the Body Snatchers weak to light. Um, so I could... You know what? If the Body Snatchers weak to light, let's have them go after the Red Barneys, and then Tim can go after the Body Snatcher with, um... Is Lightning Light? No, uh, where's my Light Attack? It's right here somewhere. Arrow Shock, there we go. Okay, perfect! Okay, so the Red Barneys can steal your Gela, so you want to get rid of them as fast as humanly possible. That's why Ashley and Cannon are in this party, and the Body Snatchers are easily taken care of. They both only have, I think, Body Snatcher has 750 HP, and the Red Barney has, um, what is it, 600 HP? So, yeah, nothing too bad there. Oh, did I go the wrong way? I think I did. Yeah, like I said, this place can be mazy as anything. Uh, but let's see. I came through here, I did that. I want to say I need to go through the, um, through this way now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Hopefully I'm going the right way. Please. Oh, I am. Nice. Okay, so I only took one little wrong turn. Now at this point in the dungeon, we're going to get some levers. 
only hit the levers that I tell you to. Do not hit that leftmost lever. So basically, the first half of the dungeon is going through and getting those six treasure chests, which are the exact same thing. The next part of the dungeon is um, flipping levers and just kind of looking around. Oh, that's just another library room that I don't really care about. So let's go on through this door. Yeah, there's lots of little doorways and things like that in here that you just need to be cognizant of as you uh, make your way through here. Let's see. Uh, oh, yeah, we have many doors on the uh, sides here that you want to go through. Let's see. Let's flip this lever. There we go. There's only three levers that you actually have to hit, and I think that this door has a save point, I'm pretty sure. Doesn't it? Yes, indeedy it does. Okay. And then what you want to do is head around to the left side of the Crimson Castle. And let's see, you want to go through here and hit this lever. Now we have hit all three levers. So what you want to do now is head back all the way around, down into uh, here. Yeah, we have to make like this great circle route in order to um, get through this place. Let's see, go up here and hey! Yet another lever! Yeah. Now that we've hit all the levers, um, we need to, let's see, if you go down here, you're kind of trapped, so I don't want to go down that way. What you actually have to do is literally head all the way back around in this kind of semicircle that we've been doing, um, back to that original room. I actually haven't played Wild Arms 2 in quite some time. I know that the uploads have been steady, but I took a little mini hiatus just for myself because I had a lot of uploads going on um, with the, um, you know, just kind of in the backlog. So I focused a lot on getting tons of um, Trails of Zero games out. So I have a backlog of, of those now because I'm going to be going on a trip pretty soon. Um, doing like an Alaskan cruise, so that should be rather fun, and I want to try to get a backlog of um, episodes before I go so that all those ep so that all those episodes are there. So if I seem like a little off today, that's why. It's because I just haven't played this game in probably two weeks, actually. Oh. Uh-oh. I wonder what's waiting for us down there. Huh. Well... I'm sure it's nothing. Can't be too scary or anything. Oh. Who's the king of the dark world? Since time of memorial, is that Lord Blazer, maybe? I don't know. Well, I'm sure we'll find out soon enough. Oh, coffin. Reminds me of something from Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> oh. Wait. Maravel? Rahahahili! Huh. Oh, hey! Yeah, we saw you in that flashback with uh, Anastasia and all that. Yeah. Um, the time of promise is now. The sky's being eaten away. You've got to give us a hand. I mean, come on. If now's not the time of promise, I mean, I don't know when would be. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you think pretty highly of yourself, don't you, Maribel? But I kind of think that you're the only Crimson Noble left. Oh, huh. Actually, wasn't there a Crimson Noble in Wild Arms 4? Like, I'm pretty sure one of the villains was a Crimson Noble. And I know that Maribel made a, um a uh, cameo in Wild Arms 5, but then again, pretty much everyone made a cameo in Wild Arms 5. Well, considering that there's only one of them, I would imagine that not many people know that they actually exist. Yeah, Cannon's got a point. Oh. No, we actually came to ask for your help. Mind giving us a hand? Oh, so the time of promise hasn't come yet. I could have swore that it did. Yeah, no kidding. I mean, we've got to have your help. You've got to do something. Oh, 
being on the Kuiper Belt. Irvin was talking about that last time, how the Kuiper Belt is threatening the planet, and all this, and it's just like alternate dimensions, eating up Gaia, eating away the sky. It's just a mess. Yeah, I mean, you helped out her. Why don't you help out us now? And her descendant, too. Yeah, I know. I'm right there with you, Maravel. Uh, you know, if it's not something, then it's something else. It's just never-ending, isn't it? Oh, really? Great. So then you are going to help us? By the way, if you didn't actually put two and two together, Maravel, that, you know, you know that cloaked, mysterious girl that you've been seeing kind of hanging out by Irving, and um, she was on a cliffside seeing a comet at, like, the very beginning of the game, and then she goes, like, oh, you know, the sun is coming out. I, I have to go now, and she ran away. Um, she also met you in, I think it was Damson Mining Town, and she spoke to you there. That was Maravel, but she had a, um, she had a veil on, so that the sun couldn't get to her because Maravel's a vampire, and, you know, the sun would make her turn to dust. So, yeah, kind of a nice little touch there. So Maravel's kind of been with us this entire time. We just never really knew that, or she never really acknowledged it. But anyway, are you going to, like, join? What are you doing, Maravel? Oh, okay, got a nice little tool. Sweet! Okay. Remember that little electricity thing that I told you to keep in mind? Yeah, this tool is going to help out with that. So I'm going to head back inside this mazy bastard of a castle and meet you back in that library where the um, electricity symbol was. Here I am. It's just on the left-hand side of the castle and then the lower door. You're going to see a stairwell and then the door. Um, you take the lower door. Just don't go up the stairs and you'll be fine. And by hitting this, ba bam Hey, awesome. Get new doors. Nice. Oh, new messages, too. Oh, really? Makes the earth rumble and crushes all who oppose it. What power waits in store for us? What could possibly be down here? Oh, what's this? Magi sight? Oh, Asgard! Nice! This is Maravel's level 2 force ability. It's essentially summoning Asgard to crush and destroy your enemies. But honestly, it's kind of... Useless. So, anyway, for the end slate, I'm going to go around and read all those library books, and next time on Let's Play Wild Arms 2, we are going to have a little bonus episode detailing Maravel and all of her special powers. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and stick around for the end slate. Have a good day.
Thank you.